hello people in this video let us look at radiation exposure so basically uh, there are some types of radiation which are bad those are ionizing radiations so like the x rays and the gamma rays these are high energy electromagnetic radiations which are bad for you apart from this the alpha particle beta particles and neutrons are also bad so look at this diagram here so alpha particles can penetrate this much few centimeters no actually it doesn't penetrate tissue it says beta particles can penetrate few millimeters neutrons can pass through like kilometers wow x rays and gamma rays also kilometers they can pass through even through lead i mean x rays not much through lead that's why they give lead protection but neutrons can go through lead also okay so these are the properties of different ionizing radiations so if these are ionizing and not safe then what is safe so you have something like ionizing right so under ionizing you have um, x ray right so x rays are bad so that will include your ct and fluoroscopy and your angiography all that will be uh, x ray only right now coming to uh, non ionizing radiation non ionizing radiation you will see in okay non ionizing you will see in um, uh, mri magnetic resonance imaging no radiation ultrasounds all your echocardiograms all these ultrasonography will use sound waves so these are non ionizing radiation totally safe in pregnancy also mri usg scans so did you understand the concept guys see how do you measure the dosation exposure you know that they will measure in grays or by sieverts okay and uh, basically people who work in this radiology know they'll have lead aprons and over which they will have a badge which will show the amount of exposure so their exposure should be within that limit Uh, for that year and your exposure also should be within a limit for a year so just check on the guidelines as to how much uh, x ray and ct scan you can get in a year okay and uh, every type of ct will have different type of uh, radiation high high resolution uh, cts will require more radiation exposure okay now what are the effects of radiation exposure there are two effects deterministic effects and then you have the stochastic effects so stochastic effects means chance effect like cancer can happen carcinogenesis leukemia can happen so that is a chance effect anyways uh, come back here to the deterministic effect so deterministic effect means um, with increasing the uh, dose of radiation you will have these problems if you get exposed more to radiation you will have more of this so basically this is a uh, this will happen kind of a thing it's not a chance thing so especially when you are getting uh, uh, exposed to ionizing radiation there are some actively dividing cells in your body so where will you find actively dividing cells your bone marrow bone marrow is trying to make all your rbc wbc lymphocytes and all that right so actively dividing cells wherever they are there like bone marrow gi mucosa your mucosa gi mucosa it's always trying to regenerate etc those are very sensitive so what will happen if your bone marrow gets affected then there is lymphocyte depletion you can act you can a uh, lot of depletions will be there but lymphocyte depletion can be there which can be a sensitive marker okay and uh, your gi mucosa if it is affected then what will happen you will have profound diarrhea vomiting dehydration sepsis and then death can happen so gi mucosa is affected so you will obviously write the gi system symptoms then uh, gonads are also um, very sensitive they are so there can be sterility so the uh, ca eyes the cataract you can have skin can get burnt because of radiation lung can have some inflammatory reaction there can be pulmonary fibrosis cns effect there can be neurological deficit there can be cancers which is breast cancer see uh, unlike the stochastic effect of cancer they put this in the deterministic one interesting then a thyroid gland is not that sensitive but uh when there is exposure to uh, this radioactive iodine isotope uh, then there can be problem iodine isotope okay will damage it uh, example from chernobyl reactor and all you had these radiation exposures so you can give that example russia right chernobyl um the stochastic effect we told you chance effect carcinogenesis leukemia how will you manage radiation exposure if they ask you you just have to remove the source of radiation clothing food etc anything is exposed and you give them only seal food uh, which is there in containers etc so basically you are stopping further contamination if there is um, a dryness hydration you should maintain you should control sepsis if there are thermal burns you will treat it if it is a cesium then you can give a chelating agent prussian blue okay it is used to chelate cesium okay and um, hematopoietic stem cell transplantation can be done if there is marrow aplasia you... so as you understand guys the treatment is very specific you will have to write in the exam uh, stop further contamination so you will remove all those sources of radiation etc then 
marrow is affected so you will do some stem cell hematopoietic stem cell transplant they say here then you will maintain hydration you will control sepsis then what else did they say prussian blue for, as a chelating agent for ccm that is very specific they told you then uh, what else did they tell you guys thermal burns you will treat that's it right nothing so specific also 